Dark Life by Cat Falls, Chapter 2. My expression was calm. Dark gifts are a myth. I listened to my own voice. Distant, almost bored. Good. I returned my gaze to the glowing blue control panel and added, So's the Kraken, by the way. You found my sub, my jet fin, in water blacker than tar, she pointed out. You swam right to it. If you think I can see in the dark, I can't. I just followed the river. A river in the ocean? <laughs> she scoffed. That makes no sense. I forced the pedal to the floor to keep from shaking my head in disgust. There was so much she didn't know about the deep sea. Yet, here she was, paddling around two miles from the ocean surface. And you all call us crazy, I muttered. Who does? You. I yanked the joystick towards me, sending the jet fin zooming up the continental slope. Topsiders. Topsiders? She didn't sound offended. You mean people who live... Grinning, she waved over her head. Above? Yeah. Her hand dropped. You changed the subject. Because there are plenty of real things to worry about in the ocean without fixating on some old fisherman's tail. Okay, fine. She made a big show of fastening her seatbelt. Maybe you don't have a dark gift, but they are real. As real as mermaids. We traveled the next 15 minutes in silence while outside the ocean was a blur of blue. With her lips pursed, Gemma stared out the viewport. There had always been tension between topsiders and pioneers. After everything we'd been through, the floods, the subsea landslide that sliced through our telecommunication cables and cut us off from the world, and 52 years of living under emergency law, you would think that we would have gotten along. But that wasn't how it worked. The topsiders clung to the chunks of overseas land that were still left, and they didn't understand why we weren't clinging too. For them, it was natural to crowd hundreds of thousands of people into a single square mile. But to live under water? That was unnatural. Though honestly, the people who live on the small ocean townships aren't given much more in the way of respect. Never mind that is the ocean dwellers who supply the nation's food and keep watch over the energy sources, the tides, and the hy hydrothermal vents. We were still freaks to them. Gemma must have been thinking along the same lines, although from her side of the equation. She turned to me abruptly and said, There's a boy who lives down here. He talks to dolphins. I held in my sight. We all talk to dolphins. They're like dogs. I mean, he understands them. Schools of fish surrounded us now that we were on the continental shelf, yet Gemma kept her blue gaze pinned to me. His name is Akai. A doctor wrote about him in a medical journal. You read medical journals? No, but it was reposted all over the news web. The doctor think Akai's brain develops differently because of the water pressure down here. I rolled my eyes, but she went on. Adults aren't affected. Their brains are already formed. Only kids get dark gifts. Good theory. With a jerk of my joystick, I leveled off the jet fin. Must be why, still, why people still believe, even though the, that article has proved to be a big hoax. Guess that wasn't reposted all over the news web. You do know about Akai. Her expression was triumphant. What I know is that such crackpot theories are ruining um, Bentlick theory. I couldn't stifle my anger. Folks are scared to get settle down here because they think their kids will turn into mutants. I think it would be cool to have a dark gift. Your parents wouldn't. They'd worry about your messed up brain. My parents are dead. I twitched with surprise. She'd said it outright, like it didn't matter. I'm sorry, I said. I'm a ward of the Commonwealth. It's no big deal. I gave her a look, telling her that I wasn't buying it. How about this? You believe me when I say I'm fine, and I'll believe you when you say you don't have a dark gift. An enormous glowing ball appeared in the murky water ahead of us, an island of light in the Cobalt Sea. What is that? The trade station, I replied surprised. You rented the jet bin there. No, I was on top of the water, on a big floating ring with lots of people. That's just the surface deck. An elevator takes you down to the lower station. See the cable? The trade station was tethered 100 feet below the ocean surface. A thick cable connected it to the floating platform above while anchor chains, studded with tiny lights, dropped into the darkness below. Want to know what I do like about the top side? I tried for a light note. She nodded. Getting there.